Hello students, it's Mr. Nguyen. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, the five uh, types of um, angles and their relationships. Uh, so we have here, um, the first one is called linear pair. Uh, they are a pair, uh, of course, of, of angles that uh, would make a line. That's why they're called linear pair, right? So the relationship for them is that they add up to 180 degrees. So angle a plus angle B would be 180 degrees, right? So if angle B or A happened to be 100, angle B would be 80 degrees, right? Uh, so as long as they add up to 180, okay? So that's the relationship. The second one is um, they're called adjacent angles. So adjacent angles are angles that are basically next to each other. They share a common vertex, D, right here. That's the common vertex that this angle and that angle shares, right? So they're next to each other, ADB and BDC. They also share a side, a common side, or you can say that uh, they share a common ray, right? A ray, it begins at D and it goes on forever. So these are called adjacent angles. And adjacent angles um, add up to be the total, right? So uh, this angle over here at this angle would equal to the whole thing, um, if you would. So if uh, one angle is 57 and the other one is 52, uh, you can add them together and get the entire angle, which is the, 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 big, the biggest angle, right? So that ADC would equal to 109 degrees. So adjacent angles are next to each other. You add them up to equal the total, okay? The next one is not necessary angles, but there are complementary relationships, or they can be complementary angles. If, if one angles, um, if two angles are complementary, they add to uh, 90 degrees. So complementary um, are two angles or more. You can have more than two angles. You can have three angles add up to, uh, uh, to 90 degrees. So th those three angles would be complementary to each other, right? Um, so that's the relationship. They just add to 90 degrees, right? Um, that, so... <clears throat> If uh, angle A is 50, uh, angle B would be whatever that's left, that's going to make 90, which is 40, right? So 40 plus 50 is 90. Now, if you, whenever you see a drawing and there's a line that goes through like this, don't ever, ever assume that it's half and half, okay? Unless they tell you this angle equal to that angle, then it will be half and half. So if they don't tell you anything and it looks like half and half, please do not assume it's half and half, okay? So... As you can see, this angle is 15, that's 40. Uh, supplementary supplementary um, is also going to add up to 180 like the linear pair, but linear pair only has two angles. Supplementary angles could involve a two or more angles, right? But just like complementary, they could be more than two angles. Uh, supplementary, uh, like this one, have three angles, right? Uh, as long as they add up to 180. So all three of these would add up to 180. So they are supplementary angles, right? So 60, 100, and then 20. So 180. So these are the four type of angles that would add to something, right? Linear pair would add to 180. Supplementary would add to 180. Complementary would add to 90. And then adjacent angles would add to give whatever the total is, right? Um, now, so those are what we call addition uh, relationships, right? Addition relationships where, where they add up to equal something. Um, the final one here, the fifth type of angles here are called vertical angles. Vertical angles are actually angles that are right sort of like directly opposite of each other. They're kind of reflection of each other. So those are vertical angles. They're created by two intersecting lines, right? So you have two pairs of vertical angles here, X and X. You see how they're right directly opposite of each other? And then Y and Y. These angles are actually equal to each other. So they, they have a congruent relationship versus addition relationship, right? So these are called the congruence relationship. So if angle Y is 30, the other angle Y is also 30. Now, you could also apply the linear pair relationship up here and find angle X. So the linear pair relationship says these two angles, X and Y, add up to 180. So if Y is already 30, X must be 
you guessed it, 150. So the other angle x would also be 150. So five types of angles. Now we're going to take a look at uh, how they are actually applied in a more complex situation where you actually have variables and you have to solve for them and all that kind of stuff, right? So I want to show you how to do that with each of these types. So let's start with linear pair. Here's an example. Uh, again, let's review linear pair angles are actually, uh, uh, they do have a supplementary relationship. So if you look at this example, angle one and angle two, angle one is AX minus 46, and then angle two is 10X minus eight. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come up with the relationship. We already said that they, they add to 180, right? So we say that angle one plus angle two equals 180. The second thing is you want to use this relationship to set up your algebra equation. Okay, so you're going to substitute angle one with 8x minus 46 and then angle two with 10x minus eight, just like that. So the relationship helps you set up the equation. And then after this, it is all algebra. You're done with the geometry part, right? So after this, it's all algebra one. Uh, actually, it's eighth grade math. You combine like terms. So 8x and 10x will give you 18x, right? And then negative 46 and negative 8 add together would give you negative 54, right? And then you have a shorter, more simplified equation. So you, the next step you do is you try to solve this equation, right? So first one, come up with a relationship. Second one, use the relationship to set up your equation. Third step is solve the equation. So if you were to solve this, you will have to add 54 to the other side, right? So 18x would equal to actually 234 because you're adding 54 to 180. Then, of course, you're going to divide by 18 on both sides to get x by itself, right? So x now is equal to 13. So you're done with step three. It's actually solving for x, right? A lot of time, the, the problems would ask you to solve for x, and that would be it. But then sometimes the problem, like this one, act, actually asks you to find the measure of each angle. So substituting angle one uh, for angle one, so you have 8x minus 46. So you're going to put 13 in for the x value, right? So 8 times 13 minus 46. And if you have a calculator handy, you can type all of that in, and it should give you 58 degrees for angle one. You do the same thing for angle two. You're going to substitute 13 in for x. So it would be 10 times 13 minus 8, and that will give you 122 degrees. Now, to, to quickly check yourself, you can add these two angles together, and they should add up to 180. If they don't, then we might have messed up our, our, our algebra somewhere, okay? So, relationship, equation, solve the equation, and then finally, substitute in your answers so that you can actually answer the question, right? Substitute the solution back in. All right, next one, we're going to take a look at our adjacent angles, okay? Adjacent angles, remember, they add up to equal something, right? So in this case, they give us two angles with, um, they're actually unknown angles, but we do know that they add up to 124. So again, four steps. You come up with the relationship. The relationship is angle one plus angle two equals to the whole thing. The whole thing is the big angle on the outside, A, Z, C, right? And then you're going to substitute it in, right? So you're going to use this relationship to do your second step, which is coming up with the equation. So you're going to substitute angle one with 3x plus 9.5, angle two with x plus 65, and you're going to add these together. And then all of that is going to equal to the total, which is 124. And that's given to you, okay? All right, now the rest of this, again, is all algebra, right? You're going to go combine like terms, all right? So 3x plus 1x is 4x. And then 9.5 plus 6.5 is 16. All of that equals to 124. You're going to subtract 16 on each side, okay? 124 minus 16 will give you 104. 8. And then the last step, you're going to divide by 4 to get 27. So x, the value for x happens to be 27. Now, this problem does ask us to find the measure of each angle, not just solve for x. So we do have to go one step further and substitute in 27. 
So if you substitute in 27, you get 3 times 27 plus 9.5, which will give you 90.5 degrees. All right, same thing for angle 2. You're going to get 27 plus 6.5. That will give you 33.5. If you add these together, they should give you 124 like the problem is given to you. All right, so these are adjacent angles. They add up to equal the total. Whatever that total is, they're going to give you. Next one we're going to look at is, oh, here are just the review of, of what you need to do. Determine relationship, write the equation, solve the equation, and then substitute the solution back in. All right, next one, complementary. Complementary have um, a sum of 90 degrees, right? So they, how many ever angles there are, they, they are going to add up to 90 degrees. So here we have three angles, right? We have angle one, two, three. So the relationship would be angle one plus angle two plus angle three equals to 90 degrees. That's the, that's the complementary relationship, right? And then step two is to get the equation. Well, to get the equation, you got to have the expressions in there, right? So angle one is x plus three. Angle two is x minus one. Angle three is x plus one. And then you would add all of these together and that would equal 90 degrees, okay? So combine like terms, so step three, just algebra. Combine like term, x, 1x, 2x, 3x. You have 3x to total. And then here you have three. Here's a, a minus one and a positive one, right? A negative one and a positive one, they kind of equal zero. And then you have a plus three. So it's 3x plus three uh, equal 90. And then you're going to subtract three, divide by three. So x equals 29. Now, this problem also asks us to find each angle, right? So the measure of each angle, we have to substitute it in. So step four, angle one would be 29 plus three because that's x plus three right up here, okay? Angle two would be x minus one, so it would be 29 minus one would be 28. Angle three is 29 plus one, right? So it will be 30. You can add all of these up together, and of course, they're going to equal to 90 if we did our math correctly. So what are those steps again? Come up with the relationship, okay? And you have to know your definitions, your, your, your um, properties, and your theorems in order to come up with the relationship, okay? So this is usually the hardest part right here. It's the part where you know the relationship, okay? After you know the relationship, uh, it's just a matter of substituted things in to write your equation, right? And then you use your algebra skills to solve the equation. And then you take the solution and you substitute it back in if the problem asks you to do that, right? It's going to ask you for the measures, okay? You substitute it back in, okay? Next one. All right, supplementary angles um, have a, a sum of 180. So it doesn't matter how many angles there are, as long as they are supplementary, you add all of them up to equal 180. So that's the relationships, and that's the first thing you do is come up with the relationship. So here we have three angles. We're going to add them all up to equal 180. Step two, we come up with the equation by substituting these expressions in, right? So angle one is 5x plus 4. Angle two is x minus 2. And angle three is 3x plus 7. And we're going to add them all up to equal 180. That is a long equation, so our job is to simplify it, right? So the third step is to simplify your equation so you can solve, right? So I combine like terms, 5x plus 1x plus 3x will give me 9x. And then 4, uh, take away 2, add 7, will give me 9. And then I'm going to solve this equation by subtracting 9, and then finally divide by 9. So subtracting 9 from both sides to give me 171, and then divide by 9 to give me x equals 19. All right, so now the problem asks us to find the measure for each angle. So now we, we do have to substitute the 19 in um, into our expressions, right? So step four, go back to your problem and say angle one, substitute 19 in. So it'll be five times 19 plus four, which is 99 degrees. Um, Angle 2, uh, 19 minus 2, so it'll be 17. And then angle 3 is 3 times 19 plus 7. So that would be 64. 
And if you want to quickly check yourself, you can add all the three angles together and it should give you 180 degrees. Okay. Last but not least, is a review of what to do, relationship, equation, solve, substitute back in. And you're going to see these four, what I call themes coming up over and over and over in geometry. These are the things you need to do, right? Relationship, equation, solve equation, substitute back in, okay? Vertical angles. Vertical angles, remember, they have a different relationship. They have a congruent relationship, which means they are equal to each other, right? So first thing we come up with angle one equal angle two. We set the two equations equal to uh, uh, the two expressions equal to each other. And now here is when you depend on your algebra to get through geometry. It's this step right here, the third step. What should I do? Well, I should um, move um, the y's together, right? So I'm going to subtract the two y. Okay. Now. I want to subtract the 2y because if the 2y is subtracted from the 9y, I get positive answer. If I subtract the 9y from over here, I would get a negative answer. And I do not want my variable to be negative because I'm solving for a positive variable, right? So I want y to be positive. That's why whenever you're trying to combine like terms on the y, and they're, they're on different sides of the equations, you want to move the smaller y variable. So you're going to subtract 2y to give you 7, 7y. Seven so 7y plus 7 equal 98. Now you're ready to get rid of that 7. So you subtract 7 on both sides to get 91 and then divide by 7 to give you 13. So y equals 13. So now we're going to substitute the two angles to get our answers, right? So step 4, angle 1 is 9 times 13 plus 7 equals 124. Guess what the other angle should be? 124 as well, because they are equal to each other. If you don't get 190, uh, 124, uh, we certainly did something wrong, okay? So 124 is the other one as well. You can plug it in and check it yourself. So one last review of the four steps you have to do. Relationship, write your equation, solve your equation, substitute the value back in, right? So these are the four common themes that you're going to see over and over in geometry. Guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. I know it's a little long, but thank you for sticking around with me, and I will see you in the next video.